look in the mirror Man, you're so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. If you're easily triggered, leave now because this is not the show for you. Now, what I'm going to be talking about in this reaction video and this video that's designed for educational purposes, I'm going to tell you from my own insight and humble opinion that if a woman cannot cook or clean or is not willing to cook or clean, then she is not wifey material. She's not girlfriend material. She is a horrible example for her daughters. She is a horrible and terrible example for her sons, okay? Because she's not showing that daughter what it means to serve her husband, how to be a clean woman or a woman who has any domestic skills. And she's not teaching that boy what to expect from a woman as he ages and looks for a woman to marry. She's not wifey material because she's not going to try to take care of a man through cleaning, cooking, and other domestic chores. It's a skill set. She's not going to be a worthy girlfriend because she's just going to want to have fast food all the time. She's not going to want to even cook for you to at least try to earn you, at least try to sway you into taking her seriously because she's not even able to do the most basic things. These are basic things. Cooking and cleaning is not algebra, calculus, trigonometry, rocket scientists, building a home, anything. It is basic things. Things And if a woman cannot cook and clean, then most likely she, her pH balance going to be off. She's not going to have good hygiene either. Boy, I just came out with some uppercuts, didn't I? But let me go ahead and get into this reaction video. Now, I got to give it to you harshly, man. I don't want to see men out there just settling for stuff. And women, I want you to do better so you can be happy as well. Let's get it. So it has come upon my dust, ladies, that it is men out here that's going to work, coming home, paying all the bills, okay? Not staying out, not none of it. And y'all women are out here not cooking, not cleaning, not, not. There's no way. There's no way y'all got good men out here that's paying all y'all bills. And they got to come home when they done work and cook y'all meals. And they got to clean y'all house. It's no way. I know you. These women do not appreciate good men. They want good men. So they can use good men, okay? These type of women function well in dysfunctional atmospheres, meaning they function well with dysfunctional men. When a man has low standards, low to no standards, if he's a pookie, Ray Ray Nook Nook has no ambition, has nothing going for himself, has no drive, he'll tolerate a woman who will not do that, okay? Who will not cook, who will not clean, who will not do basic domestic skills because he don't think he deserves it. He don't care about it. But men who work themselves into positions of power, men who have made lifestyles for themselves that other people covet and envy, men who have put in the work, put in the hours, the sweat, the sacrifices, the tears, with men like that know their worth. They know they deserve a woman that can cook, that can clean, that can treat them right, a woman that can soothe them, a woman who's not going to give him a bunch of lip, a woman that's going to respect him, a woman who's going to allow him to lead, a woman that's going to appreciate his authority. That's why these women act like that. They'll take a man who is a, probably a good man, probably a productive man, probably a, but a simp type of man who does all those good things I said and take advantage of that and then make him feel, well, this is how it's supposed to be. I want to be with her. Let me do whatever I, whatever she want me to do. I'll do it because she's so pretty. The hell with that, man. You can have a pretty woman and have an ugly life at the same time with that pretty woman. Never feeling happy. Getting mad and feeling frustrated. Feeling like you're less than. Not getting any type of gifts on Father Day. Not getting any type of appreciation. Not even getting a run, a, a random word of affirmation or a word of encouragement for her. Thank you for this. Thank you for that. Thank you for keep doing this. Thank you for providing this. Thank you for doing this. You won't even hear none of that stuff. Because these women feel so entitled. And they are so unappreciative of good men who are productive. They complain that they want one, but when they get one, they don't know what to do with them. I know y'all lie. I know you lying. The men's is telling me. They saying, Lizzie, like, I'm a good man. Like, I be coming home. I don't go out. I don't go to clubs. I don't do none of that. Like, I really go to work. 
I make sure all my bills is paid. I'm taking care of stuff. I still got to do this. I still got to do this. She be saying she's too tired to do this. She's too tired to do that. Say what? Come here. Come here, y'all. Come here. Come closer. If you got a man that's paying all the bills, that man's feet should be rubbed that fucking night. That man should have a home-cooked hot meal on that table. How you want me to bend over, daddy? What you want me to do? Whatever you want, I'm going to do. That's the type of energy that man should be getting. You ain't got to worry about being protected and provided for. You could just be a girl. Like, you really could just be a girl. Now, check this out for all you mustard back helpers who love to complain that you're too tired after you get off of work for a man. Now, the, hip the hypocrisy of this is right here. The hypocrisy is this right here. If you didn't have a man and you came home after work, you still cook and clean. If you are a single mother and you came out for work and you still tired, you still going to cook for that child. But it's funny to me that when you have a man, you too tired to do any of that now. Okay. And it's funny to me that when a man gets off of work, he still has to be a man. He might still have to check your car to make sure you're all good, make sure your tire's right. He might still have to cut the grass. He might still have to mend the fence out there. He still have to hammer this and fix this. You say he can't reach that. Can you reach it for me? You say, can you fix that because it's messed up? He comes home and still be a man and do things when he's tired. So how is it that when you come home as a woman that you cease from being a woman and don't do womanly things when you get off of work because you're too tired? This is the hypocrisy of today's modern woman, modern, not modest woman, modern woman. It's unfair. That's a one-sided relationship. That's an entitled woman. That's a woman who, who only cares about herself. That's a woman that is selfish and not self-fit. I mean, selfless. I'm stumbling right now. I'm sorry. That's a woman who is selfish and not selfless. That's a woman who puts herself first over the man. You understand what I'm trying to say to you? That's not fair. Women don't know how to appreciate a good man. A working man, a striving man, a man who's trying to get to the next level, a man who's trying to get to the apex of success. You can't have this type of woman like that, man. She'll bring you down, slow you down, hold you down. And y'all not satisfied with that? What y'all want? Because I'm going to tell y'all, these niggas are stingy out here. They not doing nothing. They not doing nothing for the ladies. So if you got a man that's providing. You got a man that makes sure your car is detailed. Make sure you got gas in your car. He come and bring you money to take care of all the bills in the house. You go call him when you... Oh yeah, subscribe. If you're watching, hit the subscribe button right now. If you like the video, hit the like button right now. If you want to subscribe, subscribe right now. Thank you. He had a bad day at work or, you know, you just... He's emotionally supportive. Like, what more do y'all want? Like, what do y'all want? I really want to know. Because there's no way y'all that lazy. There's no way y'all don't wash clothes. My, my nigga ain't got to wash no clothes. You paying my bills, I'm going to wash your clothes. I'm going to cook your food. I'm going to run you some bath water. I'm going to give you massages. I'm going to rub your head. I'm going to rub your feet. I'm going to... Anything you want, I'm going to fucking do because you making sure I'm cool. Y'all is out your minds. If y'all really got men out here that's taking care of the load and y'all ain't got to go 50-50 on nothing and y'all just being lazy... Y'all gonna lose your nigga. I'm telling you. Yes, yeah, she's right. But also, let me add this. A man should not have to be doing 100% and paying everything to get that type of treatment because that woman is still gonna be getting the type of treatment that she feels that she quotes, unquote, 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 deserves from that man, right? You're supposed to be doing these things regardless if he's making 100000 a year or 30000 a year or 50000 a year. And you will lose your man because that man is a trying man. And when a woman see that because the pickings are slim out there for these women too, when they go out there and see that you got that kind of man, they're going to steal that man from you. Let y'all break up and have an argument or something like that and y'all have a break. That break going to turn to an indefinite break. Women, you got to get on your grind, man. I'm telling you, man. Yeah. So anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all take it easy, man. Enjoy the rest of y'all day, you hear? Ooh, ooh, ooh.